What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to the long-awaited return of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week. Support this weekly series by leaving a like, subscribing, or submitting awesome Scrolls plays of your own. Just email a video of your play as an attachment to nerpthanj at gmail.com. Every week, each winner also wins 1,000 gold. Go back and watch the previous 8 installments of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week to get a grasp of what kind of plays to submit. Without further ado, here are the top 5 scrolls plays of the week. Leading off is a play in a match between Colorpunt and Istrion. Colorpunt has control of the board, but Istrion can quickly change that because he has energy removal and the scroll and resource advantage. Istrion's idols are nice and healthy and Colorpunt's creatures are not all that powerful, so Istrion looks safe for now. I take that back! A calling the flock on the Terrian Brute destroys it, giving all of Color Plants Wobbles plus 4 attack for just the right amount of damage to win the game. Look at that damage perfection. Number 4 is in a judgment match between Brawlio and the winner of the Scrolls Guide Open tournament, Lahopa. A quick glance at the board tells you that Brawlio has this one in the bag. Brawlio actually missed lethal last turn, but he will surely win in the coming turn, right? Lahopa needs to find a way to destroy the 5 health idol, but Brawlio set up a great defense on that row, combined with creatures threatening every single lane. Lahopa plays a Revenant, and then enchants it with Wicked Being to give it Unstable 2, and then kills it with the Decimation and plays another Decimation for a 5 direct idol damage turn from the Jaws of Defeat. What an insane combo drafted from a Judgment deck, no less. Number 3 is in a match between Pyrobello and Baby Spiders. Note that this match took place before the latest balance change, meaning that Bloodline Taint is still good. A bunch of the humans on Baby Spider's side already have Curse 2 from a previously played Bloodline Taint. Baby Spiders has quite a powerful growth army which he continues to add to. He just might be getting a bit too greedy. Pyrobellum has no units on the board, but he does have a Halls of Omlasa in play. And what do you know, he takes back the previously played Bloodline Taint with the Halls of Omlasa. Pyrobellum sees his play. He plays a Harvester beforehand, knowing that he should be out there to witness the incoming destruction. A second Bloodline Tank gives all the humans another round of Curse 2, and a follow-up Baleful which destroys them all, triggering the Harvester to zero countdown, allowing him to finish off Baby Spider's once deadly board. Number 2 is in Holofoil's attempt at beating one of the hard daily trials. This one had all opponent creatures spawn in with Seed of Insurgency, so that basically meant that it was impossible to get rid of the opponent creatures. Holofoil played the lingering spell Omen of Damnation which deals 1 idol damage whenever the AI plays a creature, so it's a seemingly harmless play. The AI's idols have so much health anyways, and there are no spaces open to play creatures. But Holofoil has a plan. He puts down state machines, which will deal 1 damage to the AI's creatures when they spawn, and then energy siphons the vetter, which destroys it. But because of each vetter spawning with Siege of Insurgency, it becomes an endless loop of state machines killing vetters. And don't forget, because of the Omen of Damnation, every time a vetter spawns, an idol is pinged by one. Holofoil came up with what turned out to be the trick to beat that day's daily hard trial, to turn the opponent's Siege of Insurgency on himself. And the top scrolls play of the week is in a match between Reresign and Halfgrim. Reresign is desperately trying to break through Halfgrim's forces to destroy a third idol. Reresign plays a Gravelock Guard, a Gravelock which we all know has great synergy with both Gravelock Freak and the lingering spell Gravelock Burrows in play. After a heritage for card draw, Reversign shuffles his units around and plays an End of Reason, which obliterates the majority of the board. The Guard and Automaton each dealt 2 damage to each creature in the middle row to pave the way for the Freak to destroy the idol with his now increased attack from the Gravelock Guard taking damage and activating the Gravelock Burrows. I am such a sucker for End of Reason plays. They are just so awesome. And those are the top 5 Scrolls plays of the week. 
Remember to submit your own plays and maybe you can be featured in next week's episode. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.